Hey there guys, this is Master DK, and welcome to Spyro Reignited Trilogy. For those of you who come from my uh, main channel, and have been following it for the past few years, you're probably thinking, uh, DK, didn't you already play this? You did like a whole bunch of live streams playing this game? Well, you remember wrong! I played the original Spyro the Dragon for the PlayStation 1 on live stream, and I played the third game, Reignited. It's kind of confusing, I know, but... Yeah, I've never played the original Spyro the Dragon Reignited um, YouTube before. I've, I've played it myself and I've beaten it because I'm really good at the first game. Um, I'm going to delete this since there's barely anything on it. On my first save file, I beat Spyro the Dragon and I beat Spyro You're the Dragon. And I did a little bit of Ripto's Rage. Ripto's Rage is up next, but for now we are doing the first game. And there's all the classic Spyro poses. You gotta love it. But yeah, Spyro is my favorite game of all time. Whenever somebody asks me what my favorite video game is, I always say Spyro. If you're gonna hate, hate. I don't care. What's that? You think uh, Call of Duty? Or <laughs> Call of Duty? Uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Did or I turn on the captions? It, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? What about this? Uh -huh, he's old. I'll take that question. <laughs> they added like a TV. Is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and his imagination <laughs> runs with devastation. No, right. Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it. That's the villain motivation of this game. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Looks like I've got some things to do. And good old Tom Kenny as Spyro. <laughs> Even though he wasn't Spyro in the first game originally, but he was Spyro in Ripto's Rage and Year of the Dragon. But now, in the Reignited Trilogy, he voices him on all the games. Anyways, the whole point of this game is you gotta free the dragons. And then feed Ganasty Ganork. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. And they act as little tutorials and whatnot. You get the picture. But yeah, man. Oh my god. I. <laughs> it has been a hot minute since I've seen the graphics of this uh, remaster. Just look at that. Look at every blade of grass is visible. And just, it's just beautiful. If you look at the original version, yeah, it's beautiful too. But for the time, you know, very dated looking. Also, people have had theories about this door saying, there's gonna be like a DLC behind it. It's just a door, guys. It's just a door. DLCs were not a thing in 1998. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! It's oh, Gnasty Gnork! Dragon this dragon used to be voiced by Clancy doing. Brown. Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. The original Spyro games had Tom Kenny, Clancy Brown, even Carolyn Lawrence. And that was before SpongeBob was even a thing. But anyways, you guys are probably thinking, Oh, you're just going to do the bare minimum. You're just going to free all the dragons and... Beat the final boss, right? <laughs> no. I I am going to 120% this game. And that means treasure hunting. I'm getting all the treasure everywhere. There's very few games that I'm a completionist uh, when playing. This is one of them. So you're going to see me do everything that this game has to offer. There's no, e there's no point in you even playing it. Because you're going to see me play it all the way through. I'm going to show you everything. I can show. Spyro. This game goes all the way back to when I first, when I had my first PlayStation. I was just a wee little pup being introduced to the world of video games, and Spyro was one of the, one of the games I had, and it's stuck with me all my life, and it's just really special to me. Everybody has that that one video game character that has stuck with them for so long and means a lot to them. 
and Spyro is very much that character for me. And I believe I can head... Oh, yeah, in the first game you can't head, but just... Yeah, do that. And since it's only in the first world, the Norks don't fight back. They just run away like chicken shit. So, uh, if gem collecting is annoying to you, um, you've come to the wrong uh, Let's Play series. Don't watch me play this if you don't want to see that. Oh, and of course it's the first game, cause it's so I can't hover. Alright. Ooh. It, that's a skill point? I don't remember that being a skill point. The first game didn't have skill points originally. In the second and third game, they added skill points in. Now there's skill points everywhere, and they had to, like, force them into the first game somehow. Like, right just then, I got a skill point for something that you're supposed to do. That's not a skill. Yep, there's the balloonist. If I recall, the balloonists talk in the remaster, and they didn't before. If you prove your worth yeah. by rescuing ten dragons... Ten dragons? Maybe you shouldn't talk. And they want you to do shit before they take you places. Don't you hate it when games do that? You have the balls to make demands out of me, the, the player. Anyways, yeah, this guy has gems and you're supposed to flame his ass three times. If, if uh, gun violence in games teaches you to kill, then this game teaches you to uh, flamethrower people's buttholes. That's where my first boss is going to be, right back there. Yeah, um, you're probably confused. There's a doorway uh, inside the dragon's mouth. Cool flash! Do that again! The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth. But you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. <laughs> so you don't even have to beat all of them. Just beat one of them. And then you get your first boss. Uh, I'm not playing it like that. I'm playing all the levels and completing them. I think I made them. I think I made my point. There's a whole other section of this uh, home world that I haven't been to yet. Go, yeah. And another dragon already. Tomas. Hey, Spyro. Press the jump button twice to glide. And and don't be afraid. Afraid of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh. The easiest way to die in this game, in other words. Yeah. I'm I'm really good at this game, but nothing can keep me from uh, plummeting to my death. Which is why I have um, was back and forth on whether or not I wanted to make this a no-death run. Because I am really good at this game, and I feel like if I really put in efforts to not dying, I could do a no-death run of this game. But uh, that probably wouldn't be as fun as just playing it again, so... <laughs> Just for fun, we'll make it a no death run for now. If I die, then oh well, no death run is over. But I'm still gonna keep playing the game. And there's Town Square, I'm not ready to go there yet, but I will collect gems. Carefully, so that I don't go through the portal by accident. That's happened to me, that's happened to me before. Shit, I gotta go back. Because I can't hover. That's not Tell Ripto's Rage, where you have to pay that douchebag money bags to uh, learn how to hover. Thankfully, his ass is nowhere near this game, <laughs> and I'm so glad. Anyways, 100 level, 100 percent level complete. You could you could go to any of these worlds that you want first, but uh, here's the thing: if you don't go to Stonehill first, then you're an idiot. It's like right there. It's the first level you see. You have to go there first. If you hear uh, pitter pattering in the background, that those are my dogs. I actually moved recently, uh, so you might notice that the audio quality is different right now because I moved to a new place and I got doggies hopefully who hopefully don't bark when I'm trying to do this anyways um this first level is pretty easy you just got rams that try to headbutt you and weird farmer looking dudes I used to think they were witches <laughs> in the original but they're not also um something else that the reignited trilogy um offers you that uh, I find very helpful if you press down on the analog stick sparks points in a direction and if you follow that direction you will find gems so you'll never like be wandering around aimlessly anywhere wondering where gems are and i love that <laughs> because that was always annoying in the original game you couldn't do that you had to wander aimlessly until you found the remaining gems and i'm just not about that life watch the dragonfly spyro his color indicates his power when he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. And one really cool thing about the Reignited Trilogy is that um, not only does Sparks change color with 
um, depending on his health, the light on your PS4 controller changes color as well when that happens. Like right now, Spyro, stop yawning, I'm trying to explain. For instance, Sparks is yellow right now. The color on my uh, PS4 controller light is yellow right now. I I I'll show you a short uh, video clip demonstrating it. It's yellow. Nah, it's blue. Nah, it's green. Sparks is dead. So much treasure to collect, so little time. God, I love this game so much! It's just a wave of nostalgia mixed with nice, relaxing game mechanics that don't, you know, stress you out. I saw that RPG's life was um, trying to play Elden Ring and was losing his damn mind, but um, he said that Sonic Mania was the uh, game that he um, used to relax after a stressful round of Elden Ring. Um, if I had to pick a relaxing game, it would be this. I just put on some Spire of the Dragon and before going back to playing something like uh, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> yeah, I, I relax with Spyro, then I attempt Crash Bandicoot. Crash and Spyro have that dynamic about them. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. No way. I mean, you didn't, so I, I surely won't. That is a fairy. Um, that's not Zoe, though. It's, um, I always get the fairies mixed up in this game. Yeah, all fairies look the same to me. I'm such a racist. In the second and third game, there's a fairy named Zoe, and she's voiced by Carolyn Lawrence. The voice of Sandy Cheeks. There's the farmer-looking dudes. You gotta actually... Actually, it doesn't matter. You can charge them. Yeah, the first set of enemies in this game, you, you can flame them or you can charge them. But, like... Later on, you get, like, big enemies that you can only flame, and you got, like, guys with armor on that you can only charge, and so forth. But actually, if you listen really closely, and I mean very closely, you can hear a cunt. <laughs> you can hear a thief, an egg thief, um, and he's up there on that platform. And uh, egg thieves are the fucking worst. You have to chase them all around the uh, level to get an egg. And um, they get more and more complicated the more the games go on. And the whole time they're going, wah, 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 wah. and you just want to fucking decimate them. Look at how you can burn the grass. The attention to detail in this remaster. Like you could tell that Toys for Bob adore the Spyro games and they wanted to really make this remaster work and introduce a new generation of fans to the games which is ad admirable very admirable anyways it's oh <laughs> also they uh, included this <laughs> the original game put like a force field to um, keep you from going too far off the map <laughs> and the remaster did it too Anyway, it's time to find this egg thief and collect more gems. Yep, you can hear him. There he is. Back here. Fuck face. By the way, in the original game, you could like, there's like a really cheap way to catch a thief. Just hold down the um, square and X button. But in the remaster, it doesn't speed you up. It slows you down. Kind of the... Um, Oh, he stopped for me! Maybe it does work! <laughs> I just got lucky there, but yeah. There was a way to like basically break an egg thief chase in the original game. You just hold down these two buttons. But in the original, it like makes you go super fast. But not in this game, they fixed that. Yeah, gotta go all the way, all the way around this because there's gems everywhere up here. I'm, I always forget gems up here. That's why I'm like looking really hard. Why am I not using sparks to help me find them? It's because I can find them myself, okay? I'm not that lazy, but I will, just to be sure. Okay, he's pointing down. That means I'm done up here. There's another dragon and a retor return home portal. Pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you <laughs> In the original, back to I was like, fancy vortex thingamajigger. First, <laughs> let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. Hey, if you don't want me to do a comparative analysis between the original and the remaster, then don't make a remastered game. There's a uh, treasure chest, you might have seen it earlier. Uh, I didn't point it out, Sowie. But, um, there's a secret little cave down here. Um, it looks like you're gonna fall to your death, but you're not. There's a little beach here. See that? 
And uh, there's a key in the cave. There you go. There's a key. Uh, don't go in the water. In the first game, Spyro can't swim. Don't ask me why. I don't know. But in the second and third game, he can swim just fine. <laughs> like, he can even stay underwater for a long time. There's no limit to his, to his oxygen. Down in the hole we go. Whee! No! I didn't want to take the whirlwind! Yeah! Treasure! I still haven't collected it all! Damn it! I'm just thinking about how I'm gonna get cancelled after I release this video and I use the C word. Hey, I used it to describe a fictional character in a game. I think I'm okay. But just watch that be the main takeaway from the comments. Alright, so I got 10 more gems. That could be 10 more red ones, 5 more green ones, 2 more blue ones, or 1 yellow one. Could be any of those. That's how the currency works in this game. Uh, purple gems are uh, worth 25. Alright, so something fun happened. I lost the rest of my footage of Stonehill. Great. You didn't miss much, okay? I just freed a dragon and I, re I, and I got the rest of the treasure. I completed Stonehill. It's 100% complete. If you don't believe me, take a look for yourself. Alright, the next level we're doing is Dark Hollow. It's one of my favorites in the, in the original game and I cannot wait to show you how they remastered it. It is so cool. Yeah, I'm fangasming a lot about the remastered trilogy, the reignited trilogy, if you will. The respect is there. The passion for Spyro is, is, is here. There's no denying that. They wanted to make this game cool as possible, and they did it. Just look at this. Listen to that music. It's like very relaxing, almost. What am I talking about almost? It, it is relaxing. I've used it for background music before. Uh, I can't flame this guy, because he got a shield. If I could just, yeah, direct the charge at him. Like, they added candles and books. Right, like, really fitting the artisan's theme. Real, just great attention to detail. That makes you wonder when the gob go glab galab is gonna appear. But you know what I mean. That meme. Yeah. I know memes, kids. Totally... Papega. <laughs> and these guys are too big to charge, so you gotta flame them. And the dick. Just like that. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. I am way ahead of you. You don't think I know this game? You think my audience is dumbfounded by that information that I just gave them? Look at how it glows under this light. Just look at this light in general. Hypnotizing, isn't it? Uh, oh yeah, there's like this special little area down here that I need to get to. And then there's just this uh, new enemy that appears when you come over here too. Yeah, he uh, belly bu belly bounces you. So you gotta flame him in the anus instead of the dick. He probably should have worn a cup. In all honesty. Or just a uh, chastity bell. How did I get him? I guess I got him just in time. But, oh my god, look at this. This did not look this beautiful in the original. Uh, comparison. Put it up. I, I would I would take this um, environment in as long as possible, but there's work to be done. Spyro. Wanna know a secret? Alright, more of you guys. It's... Yeah, nice try. It's so cute. These little guys think they're guarding this big guy. Ah, that's foul. Come on. The nerve of you and your turkey drumstick. Fuck you. You're just waiting for me to jump onto your ass and, and flame you. What, were you guarding these books? Is literature that important to you, Nork? But a quick flame. That should defeat them. That uh, skull is real. That's my headcanon. I'm just trying to insert dark lore where it doesn't need to be. Hey, if Pokemon can have a Pokemon that literally wears his dead mother's skull on his face, then anything can happen, okay? So, don't be looking at me all weird. Pokemon is a low-key horror game, and you can't deny that. This is a very small level compared to Stonehill. There's one freaking gem. Good thing we have sparks. I guess I got too caught up in the environment here that I forgot <laughs> to get all the gems. I mean, that was really easy to miss. It was one red gem. Even though I could find a million things to do here that have nothing to do with the game. Another time, perhaps. All right, we've got one more level and then a boss. Technically, I could go face the boss right now, but you can't cheat your way to the top. You gotta go all the way. 
So Town Square's up next, bitches. Alright. Before I go forward into this level, there's gems behind me. That's how they get you. They expect you to go running into the level without collecting treasure. <laughs> okay, these bowls are fun. You can flame or charge them. I didn't even see you! Well, Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. I don't like how skinny your neck is. What that throat do? Okay, I was about to say, these bulls are a lot of fun because you can flame them or charge them. And if you flame them, they die instantly. Uh, a nice swift death. But if you charge them, they just uh, um, land on their horns and get stuck in that position. And then you can um, charge them again to kill them or flame them. So you can either give them a nice swift death or you can torture them mercilessly. Make them suffer before they finally take their last breath. Hey, this is what the game states, not me. <laughs> See, look. I can just leave him there to suffer. And then he, he exposes his anus to me and then... There you go. I'm so glad you, that, that you guys watch my channel so that I can scar you. Yeah, Town Square looks... More or less the same than it did in the original. Obviously, it looks a lot better with the new graphics, but Town Square, you can't do much with. <laughs> Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> you just had that cake ready for me? I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I love how they give all the dragons different unique designs and personalities and, like, roles in their home worlds. Like, one's a cook, one's a painter, one's a sculptor. It's, it's just really cool. I need to get to that thief. Just listen to him taunting me like the little fuck nugget he is. <laughs> Damn it! That's how you do it, but I'm doing it wrong. Ah! You little bastard! I'm at the beginning of the level thanks to your ass. Oh, the thieves are the best part. Pay with your blood! No! I had you! I had you by the dick! Ugh, I love the thief chases. Especially in this level, where you have to keep trying again and again and again. Well, shit. Oh, I was hoping to get him there. I got him! And I died. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I got the egg. So he can laugh all he fucking wants. I never knew there were so many of them over here. Jeez. Do you see a man dressed in blue running around here? No! It makes me want to go. <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. Well, it's your own fault. It's your own fault. There's a way to get up there. And uh, it's actually not that difficult. You know where you were before? Where the thief was? That little dickhead that we don't have to chase this time? Yeah, you can run all you want. I'm not following you. Now I can glide over here. Yeah, keep la keep laughing. Keep na 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 There's a gem down there. I have to drop down there. So I better be very careful that I make sure that I get everything up here. Got you by the ass. Thor! I got Thor's ass! Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Oh, Thor, you've you seen better days. Even when you were fat. Alright, I'm pretty sure I got everything up here so I can just drop down here. Grab a jam. Wait. 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 Where was it? Over here. <laughs> there. Oh my god, that was the last one. <laughs> Let's go fight our first boss, Toasty. There we go, the mouth opens. And we're gonna go fight Toasty. Oh my god. The the coloring, like, really is, is, is much more intimidating in the remaster. Like, it looks like you're entering hell right now. Okay, let me just say, Toasty is not the worst part of this level. The fucking dogs are. They are terrifying. Uh, the thing is, is that they don't look scary in this version. They actually look kind of adorable. But they're anything but. You have to flame them twice, and if you don't, they will lun lunge into the air and onto you. So not only is it terrifying, it's annoying. Shit. Oh, he just missed me. Thankfully, this uh, roll function here comes in handy for that. There. There. Oh! You fell into the pool of blood. The blood, the bloody pool of Hades. Also, the best part about these boss levels, 
there's no way to regain your health. So be very fucking careful. I'm doing surprisingly well. <laughs> I almost got hit right there. Oh my god. Was there a dog over there? Oh, there was a dog over there. Good thing I moved. Ah, fuck you. Oh, you're enjoying that, aren't you? Well, how would you like that bone of yours on fire? Also, there's a little uh, bonus area over here. And if you think that's void of dogs, I'm afraid you're mistaken. Also, oh! I was gonna say, well, there I go, off to the river sticks. Um, I was gonna say that there isn't a lot of uh, space to dodge the dogs, so it's probably best to just flame them and move on. Just be quick about it. Like that. And once again, the music in this level is epic. It covers uh, both the terrifying aspect and, like, the epic boss battle aspect. Listen to that. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. That's sad. Barbecue. Also, there's a big twist with Toasty. You're about to see what I mean. As you can see, he's this giant, scary scarecrow, but trust me, he's really not that hard to beat. Just watch. You just gotta get past his dogs. The dogs are the hardest part. Then you just gotta flame them. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Jesus Christ. Oof. Find him again. And look at that. He's a sheep on stilts. <laughs> That's the twist. The sheep had enough of being killed off by Spyro. So one decided to take the ultimate revenge. Yeah, you get both of them at once. If you're lucky, and I got lucky. <laughs> bye bye. That's what you get for being a sheep on stilts. Trying to pass yourself off as a scarecrow. I'm pretty sure that's racist. Alright, 100% complete, let's go. Shit, there's actually um, something else that I need to do. Um, it's required to 100% the game. It's um, the speedway. I have to do the speedway, that's the last thing I gotta do. To get the speedway, you just step on these stones. You don't have to do it in order or anything. Just step on them all. And there you go, sunny flight. Cool, right? But yeah, there's these speedways where basically you have to flame a bunch of uh, objects and stuff in a time limit, and it's so much fun. Yeah, speedways are the only levels where uh, Spyro can fly. Okay, I usually uh, suck at these, but let's just see how well I do in this round. This one isn't that bad. For the trains, you want to go backwards on the track so they all come towards you. And then you can turn around and start flaming the planes. This isn't normally the order I go by, but I, my instincts are telling me that it's the best way to go. I'm pretty sure those are Norks flying the planes. I, I, they must be if I'm flaming them down. Alright, arches. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll take out the chests and then continue with the arches, since they're on the way. You want to strategically plan out the route you're going to take. <laughs> things can get really bad for you real quick if you don't. There you go. There's a way to turn around. I just don't want to risk pressing the wrong button. Alright, there's an arch right around the corner. Boom. Wow, I'm actually making incredible time doing this, so I feel like I found the perfect strategy for beating the speedway. And I did it in front of you guys. It's a great moment. And there you go. Did it. What was it? The first try? That was the first try. <laughs> Th that never happens. Pop on, Spyro. Later, bitch. You deserve that. Off to Peacekeepers. You'll see why it's called Peacekeepers in a sec. You can just tell by that music. It's a fucking battleground. This is what the dragons of this homeworld look like. Yeah. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Also, um, this th the balloonist in this homeworld doesn't let you go until you collect a certain amount of treasure. 
Sounds like a certain other person I know! A certain bear! You have these military norks, and these will fight back. So, swiftly deal with them. Anyways, um, that'll be it for this uh, video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I am so glad I finally get to play this game. I've been waiting, like, ever since the start of this Let's Play channel. I'm like, I cannot wait to start playing Spyro. So, thank you guys. Um, if, you, if you're if you new here and you like what you saw, be sure to leave a like and hit subscribe to show your support. I got other channels uh, down in the description below, um, including my main channel, where I just recently um, released a huge project. Uh, it was for... Um, it was a comic dub of Civil War. The entire comic comic book event. Please, don't get up. I don't want to hit you again. Your jaw's practically hanging off. Just surrender, and I'll get you medical attention from the S.H.I.E.L.D. people out there. You really think I'm going down to some pampered punk like you? So I strongly suggest you check that out because it took a long time to make. <laughs> And it's got a full voice cast and everything, and you're going to love it. And I got, like, a couple other channels down there. And I have my social media, and if you want to financially support the channel, I also have a Patreon. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay your awesome selves. Bye-bye.